This lesson will delve into the critical elements that shape a robust security framework, including policies, standards, and procedures. An acceptable use policy outlines the standards for responsible use of the organization's IT resources. It defines what users can and cannot do, helping prevent misuse and protect organizational assets. For instance, an AUP might restrict the use of company email systems for personal communications or prohibit the installation of unauthorized software. Information security policies are specific rules and guidelines that govern how an organization's information assets are managed, protected, and distributed. These policies cover various areas, from data classification to user access controls, ensuring consistent and effective security practices. An example is a policy mandating encryption for all sensitive data stored on company servers. Business continuity and disaster recovery policies ensure that critical business functions can continue during and after major disruptions. They outline strategies for data backup, system recovery, and maintaining operational continuity. For instance, a company might have a disaster recovery plan detailing how to switch to a backup data center in case of a primary site failure. An incident response policy outlines the procedures for managing and responding to security incidents. It includes steps for incident identification, containment, eradication and recovery, along with roles and responsibilities. A real-world example is a cybersecurity incident response plan that activates a cross-functional team to handle data breaches. Change management policies ensure controlled and secure modifications to IT systems. They typically require documentation, approval, testing and communication of changes to prevent disruptions and maintain security. For example, any significant updates to critical systems might require thorough testing and approval from multiple stakeholders. Security standards are specific requirements for implementing policies. They include guidelines for password complexity, access control mechanisms, physical security measures, and encryption protocols. For instance, a password standard might require a minimum length, complexity, and regular updates. Security procedures are step-by-step -step instructions to implement the policies and standards. This includes procedures for handling change management, onboarding and offboarding employees, and incident response playbooks. For instance, an onboarding procedure may involve background checks, granting access rights, and security training tailored to the employee's role. In conclusion, the effectiveness of a security program relies on a well-defined blend of guidelines, policies, standards, and procedures. These elements collectively ensure that security practices are consistently applied across the organization, safeguarding its assets and reputation.